A salesman of the Geelong car yard, Ken Hinckley has a few things in common with the vehicles he sells. He's clocked up a few Ks, can produce a fair amount of speed when required, but above all, Ken Hinckley is reliable. I can move the seat up quite a bit, I'd say. Just move down there and slip him up yeah, a bit. Slip. Oh, that's better. The cat snapped him up in the 88 draft, and what's followed has been a happy union, but still, no premierships to show for it. Can you win the flag this year? I suppose that's what we're trying to do. I mean, it's a disappointment for uh, 92. Obviously, acts as a motivation for 93, so we're, we're hoping to win the flag for sure. Kenny Hinckley there with the legendary Lou Richards in 92-93. That's what we're here for, to win a flag. And in 2020, as the coach of the Port Adelaide Football Club, that's exactly what he's here for as well. And he joins us from Adelaide tonight at home. Ken, welcome to the show. Remember that one with Louie? Yeah, I do, uh, Eddie. It was, yeah, it's a great memory now, I've got to say, with the great Lou Richards and a long time ago in my playing days. Ken, thanks for joining us. Your contract has been the subject of discussion on this show for several years, and particularly last year. Kane Corns on Monday night said Port for Stability should re-sign you now. Would you rather your contract wasn't brought up at all or, or did you appreciate the pat on the back from Kane? Oh, look, Carrie, I'd certainly uh, prefer it didn't get brought up at all, to be honest. I mean, I know my situation and everyone knows my situation's uh, been put out there well and truly. So I just need to go about my business and, and the club's business and do what <coughs> best thing we can is win games of football and see where we end up. Well, forget 1993. This is what you said earlier this year off the back of a pretty impressive pre-season. We're going to start this year wanting to win the Premiership in our 150th year. We're going to do everything we can to do that. And to do that, you have to qualify for finals. So look out, we're coming. So, Ken, that was, a, that was a big statement. And coaches have come a cropper in the past when they've made those sort of statements. Damien Hardwick, famously, it worked out pretty well for him. What made you do it? Oh, look, the belief in the playing group, Caro, and, uh, you know, way back in 93, as, as every year you start off, you, you plan to win a premiership. And, and I'm no different this year, last year, and any other year. But I do believe this group's in a really good, strong position. And, you know, we're quite young and we've got some really exciting players come through and we've got a good blend of experience at the top end. So there's no reason at all why Port Adelaide can't be successful in 2020, and I still believe it. Kenny, in regards to the two... Uh, two teams in the town. Um, Don Pike went out under circumstances that he spoke about the pressure on his family and the media and it has to have a good look at it. And you've been in, in Adelaide for a while now. Have, have you been in lockdown for seven years <laughs> and COVID's <laughs> been easy for you? Or, uh, could you? Could you describe what the feeling is and the difference for your family, even when the club's going well or going poorly, or is there a difference? Yeah, look, look, Rossi, there's not too much of a difference, to be fair. I mean, it, there's pressure on and Adelaide's a mad footy state and they love their football and it's a great environment to be in when you're winning. It's not so great when you're losing, but the pressure of Adelaide, it's, it's quite unique. I mean, I've been uh, played in Geelong, obviously, and been at other clubs and this is quite a unique situation over here in South Australia and one that uh, is really enjoyable to be a part of and one that sometimes is challenging. What about the pressure, the mental break you're getting at the moment, uh, Ken? I know you're missing football, but has it been nice just to put the feet up and you know, not be getting hammered from pillar to post whether you win or lose? Yeah, it's interesting, Matty. I, sp I spoke to a couple of players through the day and, and you know, one of the conversations was around, was Charlie Dixon actually, was around, you know what, it gets to a point where you do miss the, the heat of battle and you do miss the, the contest and, and winning and losing is part of that and, and there's pressure that comes with that. So, look, I enjoy the pressure. It's footy season time. I'd love to be playing and being involved with football right now, understanding that we've got some significant situations going on that are different, difficult for everyone. It's quite interesting you mentioned Charlie Dixon. I want to bring him up to you. I believe he's your most important player and yet he's probably underachieved for the, you know, the time he's had in the game due to injury and form and things like that. With Charlie, he looked awesome in the pre-season, but can he possibly play his best footy at 30 years of age, which he's got to now? Because, you know, I think that, uh, yeah, it'd be disappointing if he didn't. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Look, Charlie's really important to us. There's no doubt about that. He's, um, you know, in his pre-season was first class. Look, he has had a lot of injuries. He's played some really good football for us at Port Adelaide when he's been at his absolute best. And we need him at his absolute best. There's no doubt about that. I think he's still got his best football in front of him with all the injuries that he's been through. I think he's developing as a person as much as he is a footballer, even at this late stage of his career. And I think we've got some real upside with Charlie to come. Would you like South Australia to be host to one of the hubs, Ken? And should it happen? Oh, Carol, it's interesting. I mean, I, you, you, we're not quite sure about everything that's going on at the moment, but all I want to make sure is that we get back to playing football as quick as we possibly can. How that is, I don't mind us, but we'll be a part of it. I think that the key ingredient is obviously health and safety first. And as long as we get those things right, I don't mind what we do and how we do it, and we'll be a part of it when we need to. 
And finally from me, Ollie Wines, one of the shortest lived captaincies at the Port Adelaide Football Club, a co-captaincy. And reports last year that his, certainly his, maybe his father or maybe Ollie was talking to clubs in Victoria, one of them being Essendon. Was that disappointing? And where do you see his future now? Uh, well, look, Ollie's always been at Port Adelaide in my time. Obviously, the whole way through, we drafted him my first year. He, as you said, he's been captain of the club. The club decision last year was to, to go back to one, cap, one captain, which we all supported. Um, Ollie understood that. He's been fantastic in behind Tommy Jonas. He's got two years of a contract to go. I think Ollie Wines is a, a significant part of the future at Port Adelaide. And, Ross, before you go... Uh, not Ross, Ross is over there, but I'm going to mention, Ross, to you, uh, Ken... Uh, we're talking today in preparation to this interview and Ross who was reminiscing about the day that you were in the forward pocket and he was in the other forward pocket in the reserves at Fitzroy. Do you, do you remember a callow young Ross Lyon playing alongside you? I certainly do. Uh, pretty mad and a uh, brutal Ross Lyon too it was. <laughs> I think, uh, Rossi, Rossi didn't change much from a player to a coach. He became the same person and uh, like we, we've, we've been lucky enough to have been on a journey together for a long time in football and uh, you know, it's been one of the good people that I've met in the game is Ross Lyon. He's been fantastic. And Ross, what was your memories of that day? Uh, just Kenny, incredibly skillful, kicking goals, snapping them over his head. He went on to be a, a roll-off halfback. In today's football, he'd be worth his weight in goal. Oh, he was yeah. a great player anyway. So. 1984, that was. Um, I can hardly remember that far back, but he was a <laughs> yeah, special player. Good on you, mate. Good on you, Ken. Thanks for joining us, pal. Enjoy the rest of the night. We appreciate you being on Footy Classified. Let's hope we're in business uh, somewhere at the end of June. My pleasure. Thanks.